Hello everyone, it's John and today we are looking at another of the uh, Aries Magazine game inserts and this one is let's see if I can get that up without having it wobble everywhere Nightmare House yes and as you'll see I've not played it which is pretty much indicative of quite a few of the games that I do have. I think in the day I would most likely have played other people's games as I was rather precocious and uh, like to uh, keep my games as pristine as possible. So let's go have a look at what Nightmare House is, what it's about, what's in there. Right, welcome to a Nightmare House. A gothic horror board game. This was another SPI. Um, no, and yes, it was. It was an Aries magazine. So uh, it was an Aries magazine insert, uh, of which I'll tell you the number probably at the beginning. It just shows you how well prepared I am again. As you can see, I've not even played this game. Uh, it's always been on my list of games to play, but as you can see, uh, the map is quite large and comes with uh, two sections, because according to the rules you're playing in two realms. You're playing in the psychic realm, which is represented with this, and then you're playing in the mortal realm, or the mundane realm, here in the house. So uh, there is a, uh, a soul track. A power wheel, which is um, which is interesting, but the uh, the uh, counters themselves are in pretty good condition. Well, they, yeah, of course they're in fairly good condition. They've not been punched or anything. So we have uh, power markers. Um, what are these? Discovery markers. So it's almost very sort of Cthulian in, uh, or HP Lovecraft if you like, in style. And then this is the back, which has additional uh, bits and pieces to it. So they are the counters. So there's 200 pieces. So, uh, and as for the rule book, it is uh, a 16, 16 page according to this. This is probably a little better set out than some of the other um, insert games that they've produced in my opinion. So it talks about the game parts obviously. Then you have how to play how to set up, oh sorry, how to set up, how to play, search phase, then you've got panic phases, an astral phase, then it talks about if you're lost on the astral, and then the haunting itself, and there's exorcism, possession, a haunt summary. So as I said, I have not played this game, I'm just showing you that, hey look, is still in my collection. I'm going to have to get to it one day, but when that day will be, who knows. And then you've got the discovery summary at the back. So last page is a uh, is a summary of the uh, of the counters. So obviously you can reprint them yourself if you desperately need to replace any any issues, but. The uh, uh, Nightmare House, and I'm reading this from the actual rule book itself, it says here is a two to five player game of ghost hunting and exorcism. One player who plays the house takes the role of the evil entity that has spun its web of power over Darkholm Manor. The other players, of which obviously there can be uh, two to four, Two to four, one to four, one to four extra players. 
uh, each represent a ghost hunter who has entered the house one dark night to confront and banish its evil. The battle against the house takes place on two planes, the astral plane, which is what I explained there, and the hunters try to reach and exercise the entity hidden in the heart of the darkness of the house. The hunters must advance along the twelve axes of power, weakening the house and destroying its web of evil by exercising the or exorcism, exorcising. Yes, that's yeah, it almost sounds like it's exercising, but it's exorcising the entity's power from individual rooms in the manor. The house tries to trap the hunters' psyches and cast their astral bodies adrift on the plane. On the material plane, the physical manifestation of the house, the hunters search for discoveries to help them on the astral plane. As the house materialises physical and psychic haunts against them through its foci of evil, the house tries to take possession of the hunters' physical bodies, destroy them and absorb their souls. The hunters use various tools and strengths to defend themselves against haunts. So that is what the premise of of uh, Nightmare House is about. I'm just having a quick look here for the when does it determine that you've won the game? I guess. Um, who knows? Who knows? K hour haunting. How to set up, how to play, movement phases, yeah. game parts. Well, there's a solitaire play option here. Playing the game, solitaire is a good way to become familiar with the rules. If you choose this option, you should only use one character of your choice and seek to beat the house with that character. Follow all the rules during setup. Whenever the house plays a power, draw it randomly from the power wheel. Yeah, so, as I said, I've not that knowledgeable for this game. If you've played it, look, let me know. I think the map is is rather nice. Uh, it's lasted fairly well, except for the creasing. Creasing has uh, really become obvious here where the centre part is there. It's right on a seven which I think in a few more openings that 7 will probably disappear altogether so I will probably need to do something about probably laminating this map but there you have it that is Nightmare House and uh, that was one of the SPI Ares Magazine insert games so till next time, signing off, the Honourable John <laughs>